as a numerical entity. I think a lot of young people are pretty old complaining about stress <laughs> <laughs> Being young or old is not just of age, not the question of your birthday, when you were born. Have you… are you an exuberant life or have you become Youth means life in the making. All possibilities wide open, that's what youth means. You not become conceited yet. You should not be, I'm saying <laughs> You have not made your conclusions about life, you're still willing to look at everything fresh. That's what youth means. I think it's the business of every human being to stay that way all their life, that you never make your conclusions, you become a constant exploration and a seeking in life, that you not become a conclusion. Conclusion should happen with death. Before that if you conclude, then we will have to endure dead people walking around in the society who have no zest for anything but we have to bear with them. <laughs> that should not happen to you or to anybody, isn't it? So, you said many things in one question about nation building, about many things, yes. In seventy years we should have built the nation but we have made some grave mistakes for which we are paying the price but there's no point doing post-mortem and going on thinking what we could have done right at that time. We should do the right things now. And as a… as a nation, as a culture, I must tell you this, I speak to a variety of people, to the highest level of academics, scientists, in various parts of the world. But I still find if you take a bunch of people, just like that, if you catch them, one hundred people on the street in Mumbai or Bangalore or Chennai, they're much smarter than anybody you can find anywhere, really. No, I, I didn't mean to leave out Delhi <laughs> I'm saying average intelligence in this country, average intellect in this country is naturally high because of a certain cultural ethos that we have had for a long time. But our problem is their human intelligence is organized to produce something. Here human intelligence is disorganized. Everybody is a genius but nothing happens. You go and sit in a tea shop, he will be telling you how Virat Kohli, you know, his bat is… he's not holding it right. <laughs> what he should do? The tea shop owner. He will also say how Narendra Modi does not know this, 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 how he should have done this, how he should have done that. Only problem is he does not know how to make good tea <laughs> We must transit from this. We must be a conscious application of genius, not a wild application of genius. It will not produce any results, it will only create problems. It's very important that we organize India to a productive future. Otherwise, we'll work against each other constantly. See, we are driving against each other. All of us could easily drive with the roads that we have. For the traffic that we have, we could easily drive well. We could easily come, come up with something, okay, everybody must drive minimum sixty kilometers per hour because there are some very fast drivers, some slow drivers, some who don't know what is driving, some who thinks they are Formula One racers, all kinds of people are there on the same street. You know this I realized about twenty years ago or more, yeah. About twenty years ago when I first went to the United States, I am always used to putting my right foot down, full on. So I am hitting like hundred and fifty miles per hour. People say, Sadhguru, don't do this, they will handcuff you. I said, why? The road is wide open, the engine is good. What's my problem? And I am okay. So, no, Sadhguru, that's not the thing. See, here they put seventy, you have to go seventy only. It took me some time to understand, then I looked around, then I see a eighty-two-year-old woman is driving a school bus. Then I saw, okay, 
I can drive at any speed and keep the car on the road. But now this lady who is eighty-two is driving a school bus. Maybe if I go boom like this next to her, we don't know what happens to her. <laughs> then it took me a year to take this passion of putting my right foot down. Now I'm a little controlled and just above the speed limit I'm <laughs> Because I started appreciating the organization. It kind of… Uh, for an Indian mind, it's a little difficult because what I can do, I can do. But what about the rest of the organization? The organization has been done so that everybody can participate in it. I may be good at something, so I will do it in a certain way. If I want to do that, I must go on a racetrack, you know? I really want to hit two hundred miles per hour, I must go on a racetrack, not on the road, because the road is made for everybody. All kinds of people are driving and most people don't have help even though they're eighty-five, ninety, there are ninety-year-olds driving. You can't drive at hundred miles per hour next to him. So, but we can easily set this up. I'm just taking road as an example with every aspect of our life. I think India, what it lacks is too much genius and not enough organization. You young people must bring that organization into this country so that this intellectual investment or intellectual, uh, you know, the bank that we have, the human resource that we have can become a great potential, not a huge problem. It can become a big problem if it is not organized. Uh, so, we're running a little short of time, so this is going to be the last question.